It's a deadly fruit cocktail only the Mythbusters could tackle, and they've got just the place to do it. When you want to investigate the power of an explosion, we have a place we like to go. Well, actually, we have a lot of places we go. But our home away from home and the place we go more than any other is right here at the Alameda County Sheriff's Department. We've been coming here for more than a decade, and we have blown up thousands of things on this property. It's like a clown's head exploded. Today, however, we're doing things just a little bit differently. OK. Yep, this time they won't be destroying so much as creating and containing. OK. To test the premise of the video and its use of surgically precise high explosives. I love filling waterproof tanks. They have to accurately recreate all of the elements, starting with the water-filled blast-proof box. We've gone above and beyond to make this tank really robust. Because water doesn't compress, you're effectively delivering a hammer blow to that structure. One. That worked beautifully. In this case, the ballistic material is probably the weak point. It's made to stop a bullet. But what it'll do with an explosive, it's anybody's guess. I can tell you one thing for sure. I'm going to be standing well back. Now to position the fruit and explosive as per the video. Now that our tank is set up and filled with water, let's talk about the parameters for this experiment. First and foremost is the explosive. Now in the video, they show that the explosive is 17 and a half centimeters from the fruit. That's the radius of the explosion. And the explosion goes to about two and a half centimeters or one inch away from the fruit. If you double that, calculate the diameter, it comes to about a 12 or 13 inch cavitation that the explosive creates. So we're gonna be using one of these things. It's a blasting cap, and it's what we saw them use in the video. Nice. Right. It's easily set off by applying a small amount of electric current to these wires. That's about as dead center as we can get. The blasting cap has 3,640 joules of energy and should match the explosive bubble in the video. Now for the shrink wrap tomato. This is a polyolefin bag, and I can shrink it. There you go. Oh, that's beautiful. Do you think this will float? I think it will. What are we going to do about that? I've got a magnet with a string on it. I figure I'll attach it to the bottom, and we'll hang the blasting cap from the top. The fruit is suspended according to the reference, seven inches from the blasting cap. And the setup is complete. Will the blast wave leave the exterior surface intact and juice the interior cellular structure? Or is it just another far-fetched fake film? They're all set to take the plunge. You ready? I'm ready. Fire the hole! Fire the hole! Fire the hole! <laughs> the whole thing jumped. That was awesome. One! Just how awesome is illustrated on the high-speed camera. Whoa, look oh. at that beautiful bubble. Wow. We have this perfect 12-inch cavitation. As per the video, the tomato skin is intact, but has it been juiced? I've got some straws. Now, if the video is to be believed, I should get tomato juice out of this. Here, do you want to try it? All right. Oh, 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 what, what? Hey! You're kind of getting some juice there. Jamie manages to suck up a decent mouthful of juice. I did. And Adam, comparing it to an unexploded raw control with zero oh, liquid oh, uptake... I'm getting nothing. ...thinks they may be onto something. <laughs> this is so ludicrous. We just blew up a tomato, and now we're trying to have a drink. What else? Mm -hmm. No big. 